what's up everyone how are you guys doing how are you guys doing welcome to the next episode of algo ping pong all right so as i promised i know it's been a, i know it's been quite a while by the way um i had a lot of things come up real life is a bitch but we've got to move on anyways uh i want to speak to you guys about an extension of smart money traps as i promised right so this is going to be quite a short video so as long as you understand it via my graphical representations of things the better all right okay so maybe i'll throw in an example here here and there so that you guys uh, are put on the correct path yeah so apart from that let's talk about this little add on all right so last time we spoke i said whenever price is in a consolidation right any poi that you see is a likely smart money trap right any poi that you see is likely going to be a smart money trap so okay something like that all right now here's an extension of things now we're going to be looking at it from a range perspective instead of looking at price in a consolidation let's look at it from a range okay so if you have a range like this and price forms something outside of the range like that okay and whenever price forms a high in this case a high outside of the range it's a problem okay because remember in from the old all the videos this is the manipulation the entire run up is a manipulation so it's only fair to say that any new positions would be taken from this range of manipulation uh, <laughs> will be taken from this range of manipulation excuse me all right so if you have any pois outside of this range of manipulation or the manipulated leg of price you can consider that a goner you can consider price to take it out one way or another so maybe you'll get a reaction like this but the follow through will be higher okay the follow through will be higher and these lead to inducements as well all right so if you were to look at a bullish example so a bullish example would look like this forming a low outside of the range is a fake out and price goes down yeah so this is another smart money trap okay so all that a smart money trap does is provides you the decline to buy provides you the rally to sell all right provides you the decline to buy and provides you the rally to sell all right and that's pretty much it Okay, so let's see if we can find some examples on Bitcoin because I'm trading Bitcoin at the moment. So let's go to, let's just see this over here. All right. Okay. Right, so let's have a look at Bitcoin and let's see what price has done so far. So over here, we broke market structure. No traps in whatsoever price goes into this gap that's fine we broke market structure we go up and we make a high inside the range that's fine we break market structure here yeah and now see what's happening we go down we form a high and we drop again now is this high anywhere close to the equilibrium of the manipulated range nope it is not right so if we value this from here to here you will see that everything under equilibrium is inducement okay everything under equilibrium is inducement so price is going to go and take them out so anything and everything that you see over here right every single up close that you see here here they're all smart money traps Okay, they are all smart money traps until price goes up into the range. Okay, now yes, there are ways in which you can determine exactly where it's going to go to, but unfortunately, that's not the scope of this YouTube channel, right? So only in my uh, private group membership, right? So you see price goes up, traps everyone that's trying to sell, and then only goes for the actual sell-off. Okay, now if you look at something else, so let's have a look at this. Here we go. We break market structure here. We form a low outside the range. 
kind of outside the range right here this down close is, is a smart money trap so what will this down close do it will provide a rally here to sell there so this down close provides a rally to sell okay so let's see something else Here's a break. Another break. Another break. A lot of breaks over here. <laughs> and another break. All right. Now you can see as price breaks market structure, it forms highs outside of the manipulated leg here. Right? It forms a high outside of the manipulated leg right there. Forms a high outside of this manipulated leg right here. Forms a high outside of the manipulated leg right here. And this one is extremely outside of it. So we have that. What can you see? You can see that every single up close over there, every single one is a smart money trap. Okay, every single fellow there is a smart money trap. You can see how, right? You can see how it provides you a decline to buy, decline to buy, decline to buy. That is what a smart money trap does, okay? The entire reason it's called a trap is because it's gonna go in your way until it stops going your way, all right? Because you need to have the overall narrative, overall context, right? Everything that you see over here, it's objective. It is mathematically defined. How am I defining it mathematically? You have the manipulated range. You wanna see a price go into the 50% of that manipulated range before it decides to do anything else, okay? Every single liquidity pool outside of the 50% is a goner. And they are only goners once price switches direction on maybe a medium term time frame or maybe even a higher time frame, okay? So to wrap things up, an extension of smart money traps is something that looks like this and something that looks like this. So how are we going to define it? We are going to define it, right? By viewing these up closes and or down and or down closes, right? As POIs that exists outside the fair value of the manipulated range. Okay, the POIs that exist outside of the fair value of the manipulated range. All right, so what's the fair value? Equilibrium of this. The fair value, equilibrium of this. So I'll leave you guys to do the studying, right? Put in the work and you will definitely be able to be ahead of the crowd. All right, guys, so remember, if the market is algorithmic. Your trading can surely be objective as hell. All right. So with that, guys, see you in the next one. Good luck and good trading. Bye-bye.